awesome card at 30th. You thought May 16th was awesome. Wait till you see what May 30th is all about. As I said, the opening match, the first match of the night, is going to be Jason Sullivan teaming up with Pete Storm and Sideshow. They're taking on the Illuminati members Havoc. Wade and Wade in one match already. That is the first match of the card. That's crazy. But hey, I agree. We against Steve and Jimmy Freeman. And I'm going to tell you right now, these two young men are in a hunt for that light heavyweight title currently held by the ideal reflection. Christopher Rice, Paul Rays. Well, he's just coming back from a neck injury courtesy of the CSI. Did some damage to him and Cameron Starr, who incidentally is apparently, from what I hear, here in the building tonight and wants a shot at this CSI, which, by the way, right now is down two members. Well, I know that, yeah, as we, as we saw the PIMP went postal on Kevin Brent last week. I loved it. Tommy Celsius is out of here this week, and Eric Hansen, the heartthrob, out of action right now. But in the action right now, Fred Chancellor there applied, reversed, though, to a hammerlock applied by Jimmy Freeman, center ring. Wow, these two guys, two great young athletes. I tell you what, two of the best the NWA has to offer. And that's why it is that you're seeing light heavyweight action. That's why they are vying for that light heavyweight title. Oh, yeah. Any, any of these two guys are worthy of wearing the crown, but it's going to take a really, really tough man to beat the idea of reflection. I tell you that right now. Paul Ray's in the head scissors. Comes across, though. Takes him. Bulldog side headlock, though. Good cover, and I think that may have surprised Jimmy Freeman. I think it did. Jimmy Freeman, uh, you know, real, real, really good athlete in his own right. Uh, going against a very, very good Bumblebee, by the way. The Bumblebee. Uh, He's here tonight. Let's talk about where you can catch action of NWWA quickly right now. Okay. On May 30th, the Hoop. That's at 3575 Fairview Industrial Drive, the heart of Salem. The Hoop is the action May 30th, bell time, 8 o'clock. You don't want to miss a moment. Of it. And then the action here. Well, every Saturday night, you can see action here, 7 o'clock, the Fight Factory, 105th and Sandy, just a half a block in. Can't miss it. Just check for all the signs. You will see the action in Portland each and every Saturday night. No doubt about it. Oh, my goodness. See that high drop kick there right in the face there. Paul Rays goes Jimmy Freeman. And Jimmy Freeman sizing him up there. Now, I'll tell you, these two guys, popular athletes amongst each other and with the fans, but, you know, they're vying for a shot at that light heavyweight title. And I think all bets are off. Oh, yeah. We're very familiar with these two young men right here. Very talented, like I told you before. These guys work hard. They train hard. They do the right things in the ring. And that's what I like about these two right here. Oh, reversed there on the wrist lock there. Applied there by Jimmy Freeman. First of all, by Paul Ray's Now reversed again. Now he goes behind with a hammerlock. Good shot hammerlock. You see he had the legs positioned there. Now it goes for a waist lock by Jimmy Freeman. Reversed by... Paul oh, Reyes shoots him off in the ropes. Big oh, knee lift in the solar plexus. That's going to down. He's going to feel that tomorrow. Yeah, you may work your abdominals as much as possible, but that's not going to stop you from a hard knee right now. Oh, wow. Did you see that by, did you see that by Steeman Jimmy Freeman? Got himself the nip up head scissors, takes out Paul Reyes to the floor. Wow. Pee Wee Reyes, the bumblebee. Can he come back? I don't think so. I well, think I'm he's going to tell you right now, for Freeman, though, he's looking like he's going to go for a sunset flip, but Paul Reyes stopped him. Now they're exchanging blows outside and inside the ring. Freeman, though, hits him with an elbow shot. Oh, Yo, wow. tries to oh. Under, Paul Reyes with the big kick there. To oh, my God. Look at this peewee. Looks like a dragon sleeper. No, oh. oh, my God. What an innovative move there by Paul, by Pee Wee Rays. Now, wow. Now, shouldn't have caught, didn't caught that one because uh, he had his leg, leg on the, the ropes. Exactly right. And the referee, he sees that. You know, I've had my run-ins with him before. Picks him up. Looks like he's going for a ride. Freeman out there. Drops the... Oh! Ends oh. to the back of the head. You know, these two guys both can fly. You know that. They certainly can. Freeman now up top with the cover. Only gets a two, though. You're not going to keep the Bumblebee down, even though I don't like him as much. He's always throwing his jacket at me. I tell you what, the Bumblebee knows what he's doing in that wrestling ring. Well, if you stop calling the Bumblebee, that might help you a little bit. You think so? Airplane spin. We don't see this too often, but it's uh, highly effective there. But Paul Ray's cover oh, But he gets a clothesline for his effort. Hey, just seeing Jim and Freeman knew where he was. Certainly did. And now Freeman up off the ropes. Here we go. Ooh. Drops that elbow. You're going to have to help me out, too. You're going to help me out here, partner, because uh, I'm getting dizzy right now watching these guys. They're too fast for me. Hooks it up, one, two, and that's all they'll get out of that one. Freeman getting a little bit frustrated. He thought he had him there. As we hit the five-minute mark of this matchup, you're seeing Jimmy Freeman taking on Paul Ray's our opening match here tonight in WWE wow. Fight Factory. And again, 
You don't want to miss a boat in action. Whether the weather's hot outside or cold outside, you want to be here because the action is always hot. Exactly right. You to believe it's hot as it can be in here. It's 150 temperature degrees, baby. Fans are going crazy. Oh, we got an English uppercut, uppercut there by Paul Rays, though. Sorry to Ooh. cut you off there. Paul Rays, though, has him draped across that rope. Huge oh. shot. Sound like a shotgun bull dog. And oh. Freeman, oh my goodness, he's getting he's getting crucified there on the ropes. Uh oh, Pee Wee Ray. Oh, oh. oh, Paul Ray's though. Drop kicked the top rope, and that sent him right back on his head and his neck, and that could do some serious damage to his neck, Bulldog. which was damaged a couple weeks ago at the hands of the CSI. He had Steam and Jimmy Freeman right where he wanted him. Why